Assalamu alaikum, my name is Shaquille Ahmed. And I go to learn you how to make 3D Shaheed Minar by Blender software. This is the second part of making Shaheed Minar. In the first part, we learned how to make all pillars of Shaheed Minar. If you did not see first video please before watching this tutorial go to the first video. Firstly I did it that what I will type you can see. If you are a first Blender user I think you have no option to see it. But firstly, I want these both pillars are made the distance from the middle. So make sure you are in edit mode and select wireframe mode to see the edge properly. Make sure you are in face mode. Now select the right pillar. Press number pad 1 to see the front view. And press G, X to move X axis. Do it properly. Now select the other pillar. And press G to move the left side. Make sure your both pillars are in the same direction from the pillar. Now select the solid mode top right side here. Select this face and press G to move this to another pillar. Make sure you did it perfectly. Now press tab button to go to object mode. We want to make iron chains of middle minar. So. Press shift A. Select mesh. Select cylinder. Select pop up option. To check your cylinder has what position. Make sure your vertices has 80. And radius 0 0.05. Now press N to come properties option. And change dimension Z into 10. Press N to go out properties option. Press number pad 1 to see the front view. And will up your mouse to zoom up. Press G and move it right a little bit. Press number pad 3 to see the side view select the wireframe mode. Press G, Y to move Y axis a little bit. Actually I want to place it in the middle of the pillar. Press tab button to go to edit mode. And make sure you selected the face mode up here. I want to extrude this object. Press number pad 1 to see the front view. Now select only this face. To make sure press number pad del button to focus on it. I selected it. Press number pad 3 to see the side view. And press E to extrude it up. Number pad del to focus on it. And make sure the iron chain is the long same as pillar. OK. Now press G, Y to move it Y axis and middle of the minar. Press number pad 1 to see the front view. And press tab button to go to the object mode. I want to duplicate the iron chain 8 times. So for doing it press shift D and move it. Now you will do it 6 times. And make sure all the iron chain are the right place. Select solid mode. And move all this iron chain same distance. Now select the solid mode top right side here. And move all this iron chain same distance. When you sure your all iron chain are the same distance. Select all the iron chains. And press shift D to duplicate it. Move it another side. Now I selected the right sides of all the iron chain. And press tab to go to the edit mode. And select the wireframe mode to see the mesh perfectly. Now select only this face and press number pad 1 to see the front view. Move it to the right side. And select others and do it in the same style. After doing press tab mode to go to the object mode. And select left sides all the iron chain. Then press tab to go to the edit mode again. 
and move it his own place as the same style. After doing press tab button to go object mode and select the solid mode. Now we are seeing it already finished. Now I want to make an iron chain in here. So press shift A. Select mesh select cylinder. Now press S, X to scale it X axis. According to your pillar. Ok now press number pad 3 to see the side view. And select the wireframe mode to see X-ray type. Move the iron chain in the middle of the pillar. Now press number pad 1 to go to the front view. And press shift D to duplicate it and press GZ to move it down. Again duplicate it and move it down. Make sure that both pillars are in the right place. And duplicate it once more time and press G to move it up. And press number pad 3 to see the side view. And press G, Y to move it and set it in the middle of the pillar. It's already done and now go to solid mode to see how is it. Ok it's finished. Now I want to make a pillar in down. So press shift A. Select mesh. Select cube. Press N to come properties option. Change dimension Z into 1. Y into 1.5. X into 1.5 also. Ok it's done now press N to go out properties option. Press SX to scale it on the X axis. I do scroll up my mouse wheel to zoom. OK. It looks good. Now press Shift D to duplicate it and move it on the other pillar. Scale into X axis a little bit. Move it and placed it perfect position. Press G, Z to move it down. Press number pad 3 to see the side view and placed it right place. Ok. Now select this and press Shift D to duplicate it. And move it to the middle pillar. Press SX to scale it X axis. Ok now move it in the middle of the pillar. Press number pad 1 to see the front view. Now select all this and press G, Z to move it up a little bit. I select both pillar and press the delete button to delete it. I select this both pillar and press shift D to duplicate it and press GX to move it X axis. Make sure you are selecting bounding box top here. Press RZ 90 degree to rotate I. Ok. We see our Shahid Minar are already finished. But now I want to change this both side pillar. So keep your cursor in the middle of Minar, and select object. Select set origin. Select origin to 3D cursor. Press number pad 1 to see the front view. Press R, Z 20 degree to rotate it 20 degrees. Ok now select other both pillars. And select object. Select set origin. Select origin to 3D cursor. Press RZ minus 20 degrees to rotate it. Ok now select this pillar. And keep your cursor in the middle of this pillar. And select object. Select set origin. Select origin to 3D cursor. Press RZ 15 degrees. Now select this and keep your cursor in the middle of this pillar. And select origin to 3D cursor. Press RZ minus 15 degrees. Ok. 
We see our Shaheed Minar are already finished now we want to make a floor. So keep your cursor in the middle. Press Shift to select cube. Press N to come properties option. Change dimension Z into 1. X into 80, Y into 60. Now press N again to go out properties option. Select wireframe mode. Press number pad 1, and select all the pillar. Press G to move it up a little bit. Now go solid mode and see that all the pillar are right placed. Ok now select the floor press shift D to duplicate it. And press G to move it a little down. Make sure that both floors are engaged each other. OK keep your cursor in the last middle point and select object. Select set origin. Select origin to 3D cursor. Now press S to scale it up. Now press Shift D to duplicate it again. And press S to scale it. OK it done. Now we want to make a circle in middle. So keep your cursor in the middle and press Shift to select circle. Click the pop up button down here. Change fill type triangle fan. Press R, X 90 degree to rotate it. Press S to scale it. Scale it according to me. Alright. Now move it backwards. We think we want to scale it something a little bit. So press S to scale it. Okay. This is finished.